Good morning, guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. So last night, okay, I'm telling you this because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that does this. Last night, I was looking at like 5 a.m. morning routines, trying to get motivated. And I was like, oh my God, tomorrow I'm gonna wake up super early. I'm gonna get a quick workout in. Then I'm gonna make my coffee. I'm gonna start working on breakfast. By like eight, I'll be done with breakfast. I set so many alarms, five, 5.05, 5.10, 5.15 5 a.m. And I was like, all right, we got this. Girl, I snoozed all all of the alarms this morning and I was like I am so tired we're not doing this and I was like plus it's a Sunday you know it's the day for me to relax I'm like so we're fine so I wanted to show you my favorite coffee recipe that I have been loving lately but the boys are really really hungry so we're gonna start working on breakfast first and then I'm going to make my coffee drink and I'll show you how to make it and for breakfast I'm going to be making banana pancakes I swear these banana pancakes are so delicious if you love pancakes you have to try out this recipe I'm gonna get everything together so we can start um, making the breakfast outside I'm gonna make them on the blackstone so yeah, let me get the banana pancake mix all that and then we're gonna go outside alrighty let's get started on this recipe so I have my bowl you just need a mixing bowl to like obviously <laughs> mix the pancake mix and the water I feel a little bit weird I'm not gonna lie because it's been it's been a while since the last time that I vlogged I think it's been a month or a little bit over a month since the last vlog that I posted and I will say there is a very good excuse we have been super 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 busy and we've been working on something that I think in probably a week by the time you guys are watching this in like a week or a little bit less than a week I'll be able to tell you guys why we have been so MIA what I've been doing we'll like talk about it like while I'm showing you the recipe this is what I use for the pancake mix you can make your pancake mix from scratch if you want to or you can just simply use the pancake box mix which this is the one that I'm using we're gonna mix it a little bit and then we're gonna add one and a half bananas let's catch up while I'm making this so it's not that I've been wanting to like keep it away from you it's just I'm the type of person that I want things like set in stone like I want it to be like official like paperwork like I want to see written in paperwork of course again I've been like vlogging recording taking pictures like behind the scenes like of everything so by the time that I tell you it almost feels like you were with me in the process so that's that I've also been feeling a little bit weird because I feel like my head has been so busy with this that it honestly kind of like took me out of my routine so i felt a little bit weird like okay what's going on like so i was feeling a little bit off because i've just been so tired like i haven't been to pilates lately which makes me so sad like but i'm slowly going back to the schedule that i had and i'm starting to feel a little bit better okay we're gonna add the banana in here and then we're gonna mix it Do you guys hear the boys? They're playing kitchen upstairs and Jason's like, where's my food? <laughs> I cannot. Liam recently got like a whole like little kitchen toy. So it's like where you barbecue. It's kind of like a black stone, but like a mini one and like a whole bunch of other stuff that he got and he brought it home. And they've been loving it ever since. They've been using it every single day. And now Kaden loves to cook with that. So they play kitchen almost every day, which is the cutest thing ever. So yeah, long story short, that is where we have been. I'm pretty sure by the next vlog that I post, I will be telling you, or you might see it first on Instagram. First, you might see a picture on Instagram and then I'll post a vlog. We'll see how that works, um, but I will for sure keep you updated. We have the pancake mix. I also have the pecans, vanilla, and we also have brown sugar. All I'm missing is the butter. That's literally all I'm missing. Oh, and also we're gonna take outside two bananas. So I put everything that I need on this board so it can make it easier for me and I can just carry it and take it outside. But I'm also going to make some hash brown bacon and eggs on the side. And then I have all of my seasonings ready for the potatoes, which is usually just like cayenne, paprika, black pepper, salt, and onion powder. Garlic powder usually, but I don't have any. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much all I need. Let's go take this all outside very carefully and I'm gonna turn on the blackstone. So the blackstone is ready. It's nice and hot. First things first, I'm gonna add the bacon in the hash brown. Once that's done, we're gonna do the eggs and the pancakes since that usually cooks a little bit faster than this. 
I added all the seasoning to the potatoes. So like I told you guys, I did black pepper, I did paprika, cayenne. I also did onion powder as well as a little bit of salt. Yeah, baby. What did Ian do to you? Oh, he's going to be in trouble right now, okay? Yes, baby. And I'm going to add a little bit more of salt. Okay, I'll go tell Liam right now, okay? And then we also have the bacon on this side. If only you guys could smell this bacon. It smells so good. Look how delicious the bacon and the hash brown looks. We're going to start working on the eggs. So Jason got this at Walmart. And it's supposed to make like the perfect round egg. We bought so many egg gadgets that you have no idea. And they all leak from the side. So pour an egg, babe. Let's see if it, if it happens or not. I think it is. Hopefully it doesn't leak. Oh no, it looks pretty oh, good so far. Okay, okay, do it on this side because here it looks like it's a little bit more lifted. Is it working? Oh, yes, it works. Okay, I'm gonna add salt and pepper and we're gonna let them finish cooking. So the egg mold definitely did work. It did not leak and it's the perfect round shape. These are gonna be perfect whenever we make our bagels in the morning. So I cooked everything. Only thing that's left to cook is the pancakes and the syrup. So for the syrup, I'm gonna do this first because I like to let it cool down a little bit. I did half a stick of butter. I know it might sound like a little too much, but trust me, it's really good. So I let this completely melt and then we're going to Add half a cup of brown sugar in goes a half a cup of brown sugar we're going to mix it and it's supposed to be a thick consistency oh, oh snap okay wait don't do that be very careful anyways pretend like that ever happened we're just going to mix it next we're gonna add a splash of water and this is so the syrup can be a little bit more liquidy and not so thick so I added the bananas remember two sliced bananas and then now I'm going to be adding half pecans you can see you guys can use these or chopped pecans, whatever. We're gonna mix it and then we're going to let it come to a simmer. I really wish that somehow you can smell through the screen, but it smells so delicious, guys. I think it's because of the banana, like all the sweetness. It smells so, so good. I think the pancakes are ready to flip over. Oh, perfect. Look at that. That's why I put a lot of butter. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This Texas heat is no joke. Do you see how much I'm sweating? Like, it's not even the glow. It's, yes, it's extremely hot. It's 100 degrees outside, and then I was in front of the Blackstone. Honestly, it's 100, but it says that it feels like 102, and I'm literally sweating. It's so freaking hot. That's why I didn't even bother putting on makeup. I was like, yeah, we're not gonna do that. Yes, honey, yes, I'll get you right now. But we have everything ready. Have the pancakes, I have the banana syrup. Literally everything, I'm gonna serve the kiddos and we're gonna start eating and I'll show you what the pancakes look like because I still have to put the syrup on top and the whipped cream. You'll see right now. So I added the banana and the pecan syrup. Last touch is the whipped cream. Look how good that looks. Oh my God, not only do they look, but they also taste so delicious. I'm also gonna get some egg, bacon, and hash brown and I'm gonna start eating my breakfast. One hour later. We are done eating. How was breakfast, Liam? Was it good? Yeah, really good. From a 1 to 10, what do you rate my breakfast? Um, like a 9. 9? Why not a 10? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's like, oh, maybe a 10. But we are done eating, guys. The pancakes were so delicious. I really want to show you how to make the brown sugar shake and espresso. Literally, again, tastes like the Starbucks. So I'm like, I feel like I need to show you how to make it so you won't go to Starbucks and spend like 6 $7 on the coffee. Clean dishes in 3 two one dishes are done <laughs> if only it was that simple that would be amazing we're gonna make the ice brown sugar shake and espresso with instant coffee and it's so easy to make and it tastes just listen to me it tastes just like the one from starbucks here we go so you're gonna take one teaspoon of instant coffee this is the one that i'm using but you can use whichever instant coffee you would like next i'm gonna do one and a half teaspoons of brown sugar then we're gonna do two teaspoons of hot water. Then you're gonna mix it. I'm also going to add some ground cinnamon, a little splash of vanilla. You're gonna get some ice. So you can see I added the ice. I'm gonna cover it now. And now we're gonna be like a bartender. Oh, snap, we're gonna shake it. Next step is I'm going to be making some cold foam, vanilla sweet cream cold foam. Okay, I think that's perfect. Do you see all of that? Look at everything that's left in here. I need to add some milk in here. We're gonna add more ice to the cup. 
Then you take your milk of choice. I'm using almond milk. And first, let me add some here so we can get all of that foaminess out. Let's add it on top. Boom. There we go. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. We're going to top it off with our vanilla sweet cream cold foam. Let's try it. If you ask me, it tastes just like the brown sugar shaken espresso. I also have a lot of laundry to catch up on. Let me show you. Literally, I shouldn't show you, but it's like the reality. So I'm organizing everything here in Jason's office. Have everything in the sofa, and then from here, I have to take it to the rooms. But look, have all of this clothes that I need to fold. So that's what I'm going to do right now um, while I finish my coffee so I can get some energy and get everything done ASAP. I'm sitting here folding the clothes on TikTok, and I swear TikTok needs to stop with the influencing because I keep seeing so many TJ Maxx videos of like, come shopping with me to TJ Maxx. And I tell myself, I do not need to go to TJ Maxx, but there's just something about going into those stores that just brings me so much happiness, like instant happiness. And I'm just like, oh my God. I wish that could be me right now. She's looking for organizers. One eternity later. I'm all done folding the clothes and now we're going to put on some lashes. So I tried these, I want to say like three weeks ago and I absolutely fell in love with them because they look like legit eyelash extensions. These are the Kiss of Foscara. I'm pretty sure you guys had seen these like all over the internet. They went viral for a while and I remember I had them. So like I said, I tried them three weeks ago and I absolutely love them. The only issue is that we were leaving to a party. I was in a rush. Didn't read the instructions, which I normally never do, but I feel like I didn't do it like I was supposed to. I'm going to go over the instructions, read them, and then I'll tell you what's going to be the first step so we can pop them on the lashes. So right off the bat, I found one thing that I did wrong compared to last time. Last time what I did is I had taken the bond. I took the bond and I applied it all over the lashes. And then I was applying one by one, but you have to do section by section. So yeah, I'm definitely going to go in with Bambi. So here's a close up in case you're interested. Here we go. We're going to get up close and personal. We're going to apply bond in this section. It does say to place it underneath. So let's do that. Wait, I think I did it. So what I did is I took more of the bond and I, this time I applied the bond from the very, very bottom of the lash all the way to the top. And then I grabbed the tweezers and just like pinched it together like this. Those are already looking so good. Look at that. I think we successfully did it. I added them to the right eye. Now I'm going to seal them. And that's it. <gasps> okay, this is actually much simpler than I thought when you're not in a rush. Last time I was in a rush and it was just not the vibes. Look how good they look. Guess what? I came to Hobby Lobby because a couple years ago, the kids made stepping stones for our garden and we absolutely love them. Except again, that was like two, I would say almost three years ago. So we want to recreate them. We can have more stepping stones for the garden. And tell me why Hobby Lobby is closed on a Sunday. Like it's the weekend. That's when everyone's out and they decide to close on Sundays. But I'm looking online and Michael's has the kit. They have like the square one and they also have one in the shape of a heart. So I might get the heart one. So since Hobby Lobby is closed let's go to michael's and let's get the stepping stones okay guys i got the stepping stones they're actually pretty heavy because of the cement but we secured the bag okay guys i came to heb because jason needed some potting soil because he actually went to lowe's to buy some strawberries which i'll show you whenever we get home but i came to heb to also get um everything i need because we're gonna make some chili cheese hot dogs i think i got everything that i need i came to a new heb so i'm a little bit lost but i think i have everything for the chili cheese hot dogs i'm just getting a couple things for kate and snacks i am so glad to be back home yeah it is so freaking hot outside but these are the stepping stone kits that i got usually i get them at hobby lobby i really like the hobby lobby ones better because it comes with more options instead of like the little glass but this one is not bad and i think i'm gonna leave it empty for it's gonna look somewhat similar to this except they're gonna decorate it and they're gonna put their handprint right here what happened close my eyes okay i close my eyes Thank you so much! 
Okay. So we took everything out of the box. We have the boys station here ready. So we're just making the mix for them. And then they're just gonna come here, put these little pieces of glass and then like their handprint. I was reading the instructions and I think we have to wait an hour for them to put their hand because if it's too soupy, then it's not gonna leave like their actual handprint there. Okay, okay, okay. We're making some progress. We have one down. We have our little glass of champagne. We're gonna go outside and give you guys a tour of my garden. So let's start with my favorite, favorite plant. This is a yellow pear tomato. I absolutely love cherry tomatoes. Like I literally snuck on them just by themselves. Now these are very unique because they're in the shape of a pear and you know they're ready when they're bright, bright yellow like that one right there we also have some nopales these are ready to cut almost except we just want them to grow a little bit bigger and then this is the newest addition to the garden this is an apple tree but it's not your ordinary apple tree guys this apple tree has five different kinds of apples one tree so every tag is a different apple and then look how pretty are these flowers whenever i bought them at lowe's they were supposed to be white so you guys can see there's some white here but the purple ones took over and i do not mind because it looks so beautiful over here here we have we have these i don't remember the name of these but jason has a lot of peppers these are thai peppers then we have some shishito peppers which are my favorite we have two plants of shishito peppers i almost forgot <laughs> literally right behind me we have a guava tree and then we have two avocado trees and then earlier today jason went to lowe's and he found a strawberry basket so he got two of them and then liam has some apple seeds here so eventually it'll turn into an apple tree right liam yeah. so we have Apple tree <laughs> period just like jason he sees jason gardening every day so he wants to do the same thing and then we have a lot of different cucumbers oh look you can see this one see how big it is look at this one <gasps> oh look at this there's one. another one here and then we have more cherry tomatoes here we have a lot of mint some onions i thought this was chive but it's not it's onion it's not chives we have a lot of onion mint more cherry tomatoes some of them are almost ready to harvest and then uh these i don't know i don't know what, what's going on with these tomatoes baby they look a little bit sad yeah i don't know what's wrong with them and then we have more peppers over here and then i'm going to take you guys over to where everything is boom we have some southern cherry on this side over here and then which one is this one babe Berries? Um, those are, uh, I forgot what they're, mulberry. Mulberry. Then we have some blueberries, cherry tomatoes. This one is grape. And then we have, oh my God, which one is this one? I always forget. This one is passion fruit. And we have blackberries. We harvested one yesterday and it was so delicious. And then Caden saw us harvesting them. So he assumed that like, oh, they're ready to eat. So today he cut two, but they were nowhere near ready, but he still ate them. They were probably very, very sour, but look how many blackberries there is. Okay guys, it's been almost an hour. So Liam is gonna go first. Go, go, go. Wait, 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 wait. I press down. Lift it up, just straight up, straight up. <gasps> okay, and then oh, are you yeah. gonna do another one? Yeah. Yes, baby, yes. You, you wanna, wanna do it? Too? Okay, wait, Daddy's gonna help you right now. Good job. Wow. Now. You're doing it like Liam? Yeah. Now you. It would be easy for him pick to it up. Yes, Pick it up. Mm -hmm. Good job. Now this hand. Okay, boys, time to decorate. So you press it down, baby, like that. Good job. Carefully, carefully. This? Wherever you want it, yes. yes like this, look. Mm -hmm. Oh, one more good job like Katie. that okay so here are the boys finish stepping stones well not completely finished because um i still need to leave them outside for like three days and then in the next vlog i'll show you guys what the final results look like i'm not sure if this is going to change color or if it's going to stay this light color but again i'll keep you guys updated but this is cadence i had such a hard time writing the three in the 2023 writing his name was not that hard this is liam's and for liam this one was a little bit easier compared to cadence um he also decorated his and can you guys believe that liam's hands used to be this tiny like even tinier and now they're getting bigger like it's almost my <laughs> i'm gonna cry <laughs> um but yeah this is what their stones look like again i'll update you in the next vlog and show you what the final results look like the way that my hair ends up looking at the end of the night is crazy i put so much hair wax and so much hairspray and still somehow this happens like during the middle of the day and i just keep on doing this like the entire day i need to find a hairspray 
that is like maximum hold because this is just not working for me but i came to my room because it is time for me to unwind i'm going to get all of my things ready for tomorrow tomorrow is monday start of the week so i have to get some things prepped i just like to leave certain things ready the night before especially since tomorrow i have pilates so i like to leave everything ready for me to just come up here and get ready and make the process a little bit smoother but here's some products that i have been using that i've been loving First is this Laura Mercier The Perfect Cream Multitasking Moisturizer. I've gone in. Look at that. Like, I've made some damage to this moisturizer. It's so good. I like that it's not, it's not scented. Like, it's scented, but it just smells like lotion. Like, it doesn't smell like floral or sweet or anything like that. That's one thing that I really like. I also like how it's such a thick consistency. And as soon as you apply it, like, you just feel like your face being moisturized. Another product that I've been loving is this Lancome foundation. This is so good. I got this one in PR, and I tested it out. And, girl, I have not put it down ever since. It is such a good foundation. Really good coverage, and it doesn't even feel like you have a lot of foundation on your face. Like, it's so good. Next, we have lip products. Recently, I just have to always have something on my lips. If not, I feel like they look weird. Like, my lips always have to be hydrated if not i'm very self-conscious i'm like oh my god where's the lip balm like where's the lip gloss like i need something on my lips and these two have been my holy grail this one is from pharmacy it's the wait let me see it's over here pharmacy lip smoothie apple i was reading it in the other language i was like oh what is that so lip pharmacy apple vitamin c and peptide lip balm another one of my favorites these from clarence are so bomb like they're my favorite thing ever this one is in the shade 01 honey they smell so delicious and look, they're just so easy to apply. I love the wand. That's literally all you need. Look, I took this one with me whenever we went to Miami and I took it with me everywhere. So these two and the Ula Henderson are like my top favorite ones. All right, that is it for today's vlog. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that little bell so you can get notified every single time that you post a new vlog. Love you guys so much and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Coming in, coming in, yeah, coming in. flex, I just wanna win, I just wanna yeah, win. LA BB who we running with?